Welcome back to Hannity. Ann Coulter joined America with Jorge Ramos on Fusion last night. Conversation got a little heated. Now the two went head to head over Coulter's brand new book on immigration and the GOP's 2016 candidates. Take a look. I'm trying to preserve an endangered culture of the American culture, and it is being overwhelmed endangered by culture. 30 million um, illegal and legal immigrants being dumped on this country from peasant cultures. You've said that Americans should fear immigrants more than ISIS. Yes. Most immigrants are not terrorists, nor criminals. And I have a little tip no for one, No one is biologically predisposed If you don't to want to be crime. killed by ISIS, don't go to Syria. If you don't want to be killed by a Mexican, there's nothing I can tell you. You're now author of, it comes out next Monday night, the author of the book, Adios America, that we will be launching on this program Monday, and Coulter, what's the rest of the book title? Uh, I don't have the a copy. The left's plan to turn our country into a third world hellhole. A third world hellhole, okay. So you go on with, I know Jorge, he's been on the show many times. I love Jorge, I salute Jorge. I but finally is... found a Mexican willing to do a job no American will do. Interview Ann Coulter. Oh my God, all right. I have an explosive uh, book on the number one topic in the country. I've written 10 New York Times bestsellers. Will ABC, NBC, CBS have me on? Oh, no, 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 no. It's like I'm a blogger. Um, so go, Jorge Ramos. We had a great debate. I've, I, 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 mean, I, I we, watched we it. We completely disagree, but at least he cares about getting ratings. Um, and, and I hope no, we, I think he I also cares about the topic. publicity for it. And I hope we are. He did a fantastic job, and I love him. And I, I, I wish we could get a liberal to debate me Monday night which we're going to try to do. Right. I'm, I've submitted a list, Mark Zuckerberg, Mark Andreessen, Frank Sherry, that El Nori, On this show. Noriani, yeah, for segment three. Um, Geraldo. Geraldo. But we'll be doing it so much on his radio show, but that would be great too. Mm -hmm. But I want, I just, this is what the first, I, well, I don't want to talk about my book until Monday, but I, I will say, one big part of this is that this is the one debate you cannot hear in America. You can hear both sides of the abortion debate, both sides of global warming, both sides of the Iraq war. You cannot hear both sides of the immigration debate, and I am just asking for a debate. I want the debate, and this is an issue I have covered. I've been to the border covering the immigration issue. I've been down there nearly 10 times. I have seen, I've been out on helicopter, boats, all-terrain vehicles, horseback. I've been there when criminals and gang members were arrested. I've seen the underground tunnels built. I've been in the drug warehouses. I've seen it all. And I don't think people realize the amount of drugs that are being smuggled in this country, the amount of criminal activity, and the cost to our criminal justice system, health care system, and educational system. Right. Is that your point? No. It's not. Um, what is your point? It's part of my point. But okay. I mean, as I begin my column that goes went up today um, by saying, and, and uh, one of the many things I love about my, my new love, um, Jorge Ramos, um, is that he ended the interview by asking me the question I tweeted out last week that I think all authors should be asked because most books are just a compilation of everything the average news consumer already know, but knew, but here we've collected it for you in this little book you can use as a coaster on your coffee table now. My books aren't that. I research my own books. I write my own books. This was not the original topic of my book. This was the third topic. And how did I end up here? Because I, in, during the course of my research, you can't just send some research assistant to find out something you already knew and you need the footnote for it. No, I look it all up myself and discovered how much information is being hidden from the American public. And that drove me crazy, and that's why tonight's right, because column I can't talk about goes the book. through, and this is such a small fraction of facts that you might know five of them. Um, most people will know none of the facts that I just listed in bullet points, and that is a fraction of what they will learn from this book. I will tell you more about it. I want to go to the, the exchange that everyone's been talking about. Oh, that, there were many exchanges. Well, about, about fearing ISIS more than, right. fearing immigrants more than right. ISIS. Um, and he went into a line of questioning that, uh, are you saying that, that, that people are genetically inferior or predisposed? It's I, I don't want to, I'm all. paraphrasing, um, to, to commit crimes. I didn't take it that way. It's he obviously took it that way. What no, did you specifically it. mean by that? Why don't you go into detail? No, he just asked it. Um, but no, it's that the, 
this gets a little bit more to the heart of the book, but it's already out there on Fusion TV. And that is that there are different cultures. Some cultures are successful. Obviously, ours is massively successful. When you were, we're bringing in people from backward, primitive cultures and then expecting them um, to just, you know, miraculously turn into middle class Americans with with hundreds of years of a cultural history behind it. No, we are bringing in people with very different traditions, um, which I go into great detail in in my book. But many people have come here from Mexico that are, are, are well acclimated, hardworking, tax paying Americans came in legally. They and they are a part of our society and doing great. Yes. And many haven't. And, um, that, and that's what you're talking not about. Not only that, it is the not only the media cover up, which is massive, but the government cover up, not giving us basic information about the people they are bringing into this country in order to change it into a direction um, that is more favorably disposed to vote for the Democrats. That was the whole purpose You think of this, this is about voting and, and oh, building a voting base? Oh, and what about the Republicans that won't close the border? Well, they're just Cheap idiots. labor? To, well, they, they are looking at their short-term interests. They will win elections for the next five years, and then it will be nothing but a Democratic country, and we will have the you, Nancy Pelosi Democratic right, Party. And so the you're going to be on Schumer Monday. Democratic Adios, Party. America. Do you really believe America will become a hellhole if we don't secure the border? Without question, and I don't think anyone can read this book and contest the facts. I wrote the second to last chapter, particularly for those rich Republican donors, and I hope they will read it. I've been working like mad trying to get this book in the hands All of right, the Koch brothers night. and others. And I thought you were going to ask me about to give you a hug or something. Oh, yeah. We got the. All right. I'll play the cut. This is a woman that. Not me. I'm not asking. This was a woman that asked you for a hug last night. This undocumented immigrant who has lived in this nation for almost 22 years wants to, as a sign of my humanity and yours, recognize you and say, can I give you a hug? No, let's get on with the question. OK, thank you. Well, first you said you were sick. <laughs> yeah, if I'd given her a hug, the, the headline would have been, Ann Coulter infects illegal alien. <laughs> <laughs> you were that sick? All right. I am still. All right, Monday night you'll be back. We'll see you then. See you then.